Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex Nerny. So today uh, we are filming from a very swanky and nice conference room. Uh, this is in our apartment complex. This is just way too nice, way too rich for my blood. Um, anyway, so today we've got an awesome lesson. It's all about the 29 best tips before starting your blog. Specifically, we have Laura and I have started a few blogs, but the first one that comes to mind was that we started a blog called healthandhappyhour.com. And Health and Happy Hour bombed spectacularly, uh, did not do well. And compare this to the second blog that we started, which was avocado.com, which does, uh, does well. It has, makes over $10,000 a month, over half a million monthly readers, and uh, we do well with it. And... So we know quite a bit about both starting your blog and the things that you need to be looking out for when starting. And I think that this lesson is going to give you a lot of great information uh, for those of you who have yet to start your blog and you need to get started. But I will see you guys on the inside. All right, guys, let's crush these 29 best tips before you start your blog. All right, remember, these are the tips that we learned starting Health and Happy Hour and failing. So I think we've got a lot of good perspective on this stuff. The first thing you need to think about is spend less time on your domain name. Our popular health and fitness blog that makes us over 20K per month is called Avocado. Avocado.com is not even a word. It's uh, four syllables, one word. Hard to remember. Uh, we've learned that with family and friends. So not the greatest blog name in the world. But guess what? There are some other companies that have done pretty well from themselves, for themselves with weird names. Google, Twitter, Dell, Crest, Adobe, Nokia, Xerox, Kodak, Sony, Ikea. Our point is that your name really does not matter as much as you think in business or even on a small blog. Your content will define you. Just remember that. Will define you. Will define you. Number two, spend more time on the value you can bring to the world. We spent almost a full week figuring out the name of our first blog, Health and Happy Hour, and our About Us page on that blog. That ended up failing. Um, fast forward a bit, we spent less than two hours coming up with Avocado. Once we started to shift, once we started to shift our focus away from ourselves and our flaws, and focus more on other people and what they needed, we finally had clarity on what matters and what we could ignore. So we can kind of ignore. Um, having the perfect uh, perfect blog name, but we uh, we cannot ignore providing good content to other people. For instance, number three, start before you're ready. You'll never be 100% ready to do anything. Sorry, the internet's slow here. That's bothering me. You'll never be 100% ready to start doing anything. Uh, when we started our first blog, we had no clue what we were doing. But one thing that we did is we kept creating. We kept going. And uh, things started to work out for us before, uh, before we knew it because we, we started before we were ready. Remember that life is a uh, trial and error process, not a puzzle that can be solved in your head. Uh, getting in the habit of starting things before you're ready will serve you well in your professional and personal life. Guys, it's just one of those things that you just got to do. You just got to take the steps forward and go ahead and get started. That will serve you much better than sitting there and debating and not doing anything. Number four, choose a reliable web host. We started with SiteGround.com, but we had some big issues when we started to get traffic. Specifically, whenever our traffic spiked from Pinterest at certain times uh, late into the evening, our website would crash. This was costing us money, hurting our customer experience, and it was very frustrating. The problems continued until we signed up with Bluehost, which is now the host we use. Um, now our traffic is 10 times higher, but we don't have any of the problems. Uh, getting started with Bluehost is really easy, and if you're listening to this, you probably haven't started your blog yet. Uh, in order to start, just go to createandgo.co backslash Bluehost. There, you get a special discount to start your hosting for less than $3 a month, which is crazy, ridiculously good priced. I mean, that's less than a fancy cup of latte. Um, fancy cup of latte. It's less than a fancy latte, I think is the right way to say that. Anyway, guys, go and get started with Bluehost. Remember, createandgo.co backslash Bluehost for your special deal on hosting. Okay, number five, blog about the right topic. By the right topic, we mean something that you're passionate about and something that is possible to be profitable. Um, our first topic was recipes. 
uh, where we find it very hard to monetize. Although we have now found blogs uh, since writing this that make a good income about with recipes. Pinch of Yum, for one, is a good example. Uh, the second topic that we did blog about was weight loss, and it was much easier for us to monetize this. So kind of the key here is choose a topic you're passionate about and that has some serious revenue potential. Now, this does not mean you have to get it perfect in the beginning. You can always iterate and whatever you write about, people will show up for based on that topic. So if you start out in recipes, you can switch to weight loss. Or if you start out in some other blog topic you thought was going to be super popular, you can always switch it. So again, not really something you have to worry too much about. No coding needed. Um, just use WordPress. Without a doubt, it's the most powerful uh, blogging platform that you can possibly use. And since it's what 27% of the internet is actually powered by, not kidding you, one in every four websites you visit is powered by a WordPress. There's a big reason for that. Um, because there's so many theme options, there's so much capabilities and things that Squarespace and Wix and all these other things are not going to offer you. Our favorite theme is X theme for beginners. It is super awesome um, for newbies. So again, it's on our blog post. I'll link it in the description below as well. Understand that the beginning is going to be difficult. And what I mean by this is that the beginning of starting with any platform, whether it's WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, etc., um, the beginning, it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. You're not just going to uh, click a couple buttons and everything's set up and, and now you blog. The deal is, is that learning any new software or any new thing uh, takes some time. But the problem is that people walk into it with the wrong expectations. And, and our deal, one of our big things here is defining proper expectations. Having success online uh, really has a lot to do with proper uh, expectation setting. And this includes creating your website. So just understand that um, you know, it takes a little time to wor learn the software where you host your blog. It's going to take you know, a few days of getting used to WordPress and uh, getting used to fiddling around with it and, and its capabilities and what is possible. But you know what? There's so much free training and awesome stuff out there. It really doesn't take uh, near as long these days. But just be prepared for that. Create awesomeness consistently. We stopped creating content for a certain period of time at Avocado. We just decided, hey, you know, well, we were doing all right and we were focusing on other things. Uh, and what we learned is that creating uh, consistent content um, is very important for the health of your overall blog. Uh, and when we, uh, when we stopped creating content and then we started creating content again, our sales grew, our visitors tripled, and everything was better. So you got to keep creating awesomeness consistently if you really want to succeed. Number nine, find a partner for motivation. The only reason Laura and I succeeded so quickly was because we had each other. I tried many businesses on my own, and I have to tell you there is no comparison. Working with a partner or friend is infinitely more fun, rewarding, and easy to be successful at. Uh, just having someone to share the highs and lows with matter, uh, someone to motivate you, and someone to bounce ideas off of. For those reasons, especially if you're newbie to business, I suggest you finding a partner or someone to partner with. If you don't have... Uh, if you don't want a partner that shares income with you, then find a partner who also wants to start a separate blog and team up to at least get the same motivational aspects from them. I know I get a lot of motiv motivation from my friend Mark at DS Genie and how well he does, and he helps push us and we help push him, and so it's a cool deal. Number 10, know where you plan to get your traffic from. So there's all sorts of places you can get traffic to your blog post. You don't have to get it for just from the Google Dot com right most people think like this is where all traffic comes from not true uh, you can get traffic from Pinterest social media websites email drops there's all sorts of places however we choose Pinterest because uh, we get lots of free traffic um, and we drive over 15,000 views a day uh, from our current Pinterest account it's up to 20,000 now um, so knowing where you plan to get your traffic from will help you because um, it will help you design your posts the right way. And if you're a blogger, I'm just going to tell you right now, Pinterest is the way to go. It is just 100% the way to go. You get free traffic, it's uh, tons of traffic, and it's high quality traffic. So I like Pinterest. 11. Know that traffic is earned, not given. Uh, just creating blog posts and hoping people show up doesn't work. You have to drive them. And, and by driving them, this just means for pinch, something like Pinterest, it means focusing on it and spending some time on the platform, learning the platform. Um, and, and also, it all involves creating posts and topics that are searched for. 
creating the things that people actually want and need. So just make sure you have that at the forefront of your mind when starting. You want to create the other the things that people are searching for. Thankfully, it's not that hard to figure out, especially on a platform like Pinterest. Pretty much it tells you. If I, say, if I type in yoga, it's going to pop up here in a sec. Again, moving kind of slowly. I might be able to move to the next point before this pops up. We'll see. Come on, there we go. So yoga for beginners. So there's lots of beginners interested in yoga. People are looking for yoga poses. They're looking for yoga inspiration, workouts, clothes, etc. So know that you want to create posts and topics that are actually searched for. Number 12, starting a profitable blog is not about you. Subtle, subtle mistake, my friends, but even if you want a blog that has your name on the domain and your face plastered everywhere, it's not really about you. It's about your readers. Lauren and I wanted to drink mimosas, make delicious recipes, and make money. Thus, healthandhappyhour.com. Yes, these are actual photos that we took from our old blog. Um, yeah, not a lot to say about that other than yeah. The problem was people didn't want that. Uh, our readers wanted a, source, a trusted source for weight loss information. Um, so understand that any business you create has very little to do with you and much more to do with the people you're trying to sell to are your readers. So just gotta keep that in mind, guys. Okay, useful tips before writing your first blog post. Avoid complexity at the beginning. There are a million ways to complicate the look and feel of your blog. There's sliders, expensive plugins, fancy video graphics, etc. We tried this. We tried to make it so fancy and new and popping and awesome. Um, but you know, it didn't work because it slowed down everything on mobile, it slowed down our website, and worst of all, it burned through a lots of our times just trying to set it up. Avoid all complexity until you have an audience. Guys, until you get readers there, until you learn how to create uh, captivating blog posts and captivating words, don't spend too much time perfecting the look and feel of your blog. Until people are consistently visiting your blog and engaging with your content, just start with the basics. This will be great for keeping you sane as well as helping you focus on what matters. Uh, number 14 is just make sure it looks good on mobile. 60% uh, of people visiting your blog will come via mobile. Uh, it's even more than that if you're getting your traffic from Pinterest. Think 80% to 85%, uh, 80, actually 80 to 90% from mobile. So if uh, your blog doesn't look good on mobile, not gonna work. Make sure that you check your website regularly on your phone and get used to how your visitors actually use your website. Number 15, get across your message in as little words as possible. I'm trying to move fast here and I know that's a little ironic on a list of 29 things, but the truth is that people hate fluff. So um, there's just too much uh, other content out there to be wasting people's time with lots of filler. Uh, use a short intro and summary, valuable useful content, Thin. Number 16, find the content people actually want. Uh, again, we talked a little bit about the search engines right here, right? You type in yoga, you figure out either with uh, Google AdWords or um, Google Analytics, sorry, Google AdWords, this Google keyword research tool in Google AdWords and uh, Pinterest search engine. This is how we find the topics that people really want. Again, we just go over here and we type in yoga, or we type in weight loss. And we find that people are interested in motivation. They need more motivation. They're struggling with motivation. So having a product that motivates people is probably a smart idea. Number 17, headlines are everything. Spend 80% of your time working on your headlines and 20% of your time working on your content. We do this and it has served us very well. This is because without a good headline, nobody is going to see your blog post anyway. The, the headline is needed to get somebody to click, to move forward. If I just titled this, um, I, I guess if I titled tips before you start your blog, it's less enticing than a list because a list is uh, more easily digestible. Uh, there's just there's certain things you want to do uh, to make your headlines pop out, but just make sure you're spending the majority of time on your headlines. Um, that's where uh, that's how you get the click. That's how you get somebody to your website, and then only after they click, deliver the content. Uh, keep your sentences short. Uh, you can read that if you want, but you know it's hard to read content like this, big blocky content like this. Just try to separate it out. You see how these blog posts are written like this for a reason, and we use this, uh, this uh, what is it, highlighter text that seems to work really well. So remember, keep your sentences short um, unless you are an incredible writer. We're talking New York Times kind of person. 
uh, this is not going to fly. People are going to get bored. Use images purposefully. Um, you don't need to use them after like every point or anything, but use them, it, it's a way to give the reader a break and give them something to look at. Use images occasionally as a way to keep readers engaged and when it makes sense. Uh, also be mindful of copyright laws. You can't just pull any internet image you want. Uh, we have a Shutterstock plan for this reason. Uh, stock images are pretty good, but there are other ways that you can, um, there are other ways that you can use images as well. Number 20, add a signature to the bottom of your post. Uh, just like ours right here, we always follow up with a cheers and sort of an Alex and Lauren. Uh, we made the following signature in Canva. This is a free website image creation software. Another thing you should be getting good at because it is just by far the most powerful, free, and awesome thing to edit your own images and make high quality graphics for free. So it's just awesome. But we add a little signature to the bottom because we think it adds a little personal touch. Here's the final nine tips we learned from growing from the growing pains of our blogs. Your first post is not going to be perfect. So don't once you post that thing, don't spend all your time going back and trying to perfect that post. It's just a waste of your time. Uh, money will seem to magically fall from the sky when you focus on creating awesome content. That's just kind of how it works. We've always noticed a correlation from the content we are producing to the income we are making, without a doubt. Leo knows what we're talking about. Save things as drafts before publishing. It may seem obvious, but make sure to save everything as draft mode before sharing with the world. We messed this up a couple times and shared some content we didn't intend to share. The most shareable content seems to be how-to posts and listicles. These are some of the best posts that you can have for Pinterest. Something like how to start a blog is awesome. Or lists like the 16 zero calorie foods for weight loss because they're digestible. Keep in mind most blogs lack focus. Our blog used to have information about abs, recipes, workouts, nutrition, weight loss, yoga, and more. And I think your blog should start out like that. Um, but you shouldn't try to monetize like that. That's what we're trying to say here. You should start out by like that to get a feel for what your readers are interested in and what you enjoy blogging about. But once you have that focus, don't try to monetize, or certainly don't try to monetize all of these things. Uh, just try to focus on one or two things eventually and get awesome at them once you know what those things are. So Avocado started as a healthy living blog, and now it's narrowed down to weight loss, yoga, healthy living, and uh, supplements. We also throw some recipes on there as well. Big markets are usually big for a reason. People are usually scared of competition and don't fret, guys. Competition is there for a reason. If there's a very competitive thing, it's usually because there's lots of people making a lot of money at it. So don't, don't be scared of big, big markets. We are in the most general big market of all time, right? Health and fitness, weight loss. There's nothing more uh, general than that. Writing is a labor of love. Not every day do I feel like writing. In fact, most days I do not. However, when I sit down and begin to type, even if it sucks, things almost always begin to flow. Learn to love the writing process and it will love you back. Uh, dream big. Don't waste your time making small plans. Lauren and I quit our jobs and are making a full-time income in less than a year. And uh, you can too. And we quit our jobs before we were ready. And we've gotten to travel all over the world. And it was one of the best decisions we ever made. And if this is the third blog post you're reading on this topic, it's time to stop reading and start creating. Okay, guys, just do it. Just get it done. Start your blog today. Quit waiting for the perfect time and the perfect moment to start your blog. Just do it. Remember, guys, you can go to createandgo.co backslash Bluehost for a special discount on starting with your host and get your WordPress website set up. We have a full post on Create and Go. If you go to create and go and just click how to start your blog, it's going to take you to one of our other posts that literally walks you through step by step everything you need to do to get started and to even write your first post. It's really awesome, guys. So again, uh, createandgo.co backslash Bluehost is where you want to go to start your blog today. Guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being here, if you're on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button or uh, watch some more videos, leave a like or a comment. Always appreciated, and I appreciate you for taking the time out with me today. I'll see you on the next one.